this is actually my dream trip. Welcome back to a new video. So I told y'all I had some videos that were behind from about a month ago. So this particular video is a day in the life with some hurricane slash tropical storm prep. This storm that we were getting hit by in this video was um Hurricane Debbie. Well, by the time she had reached my part of North Carolina, she had downgraded to a tropical storm. Um, we did get a ton of rain. You just seen in that clip, it rained. Um, it didn't flood too bad. Our power did end up going out, which our power goes out if a limb falls. Okay, so this video is a dandy life with some storm prep, some cleaning, organizing, um, and some baking. So I filmed this video, and then the power ended up going out that evening. And I just shut it down and I picked the camera back up the next day, which is where you're going to see the organizing and the cleaning. And I'm also sharing my little surprise that my husband got me in this video. If you just seen the intro clip, then you already know what it is. But if you need someone to hang out with or cleaning motivation, organizing motivation, whatever it may be, then stay tuned. This is what procrastination looks like. So typically before we get hit with a storm, I get all my laundry and the whole house done and I'll wash up all the bedding in our house if it needs to be washed. Um, but here I am the morning that we're getting hit by a storm and I'm here trying to do six loads of laundry, which I do not recommend because I've heard of people's septics flowing over from all the excess water and the water in the yard from the storms that has not happened yet and as far as this darn dishwasher goes i ran it and then um uh, my sink got full of dishes again that evening i washed those by hand and i just put them in a dishwasher to dry overnight does anyone else do that or is it only me Go ahead and start on my bedroom get it nice and tidy and by tidy i mean making up my bed that laundry basket sit there i tackled it the next day um so right now i was waiting on my grocery order to be delivered because the last storm that we got hit by which was about a few weeks before this one we um i didn't think it was gonna get bad here and we sat here without power for like two days and I didn't prepare for it. I didn't have any snacks in the house or anything. Um, so I took heed this time and I ordered the kids a bunch of little snacks and stuff. That way if we was to lose power, it would hold them over until we could get out into our camper and cook them a decent meal.
Yeah, we have a tropical storm um, headed our way later on today. Um, we're getting rain off of it now. But the schools and everything's closing today at 12. And I wanted to get a little grocery order. Last time we had a storm come by, I was like, oh, it's not going to be too bad. So I didn't order anything. And we sat here without power for like two and a half days. So this time I made sure to get the kids some snacks. I got the 40 count bag of chips, the Walmart brand. Um, some bananas, some sandwich meat, some bread flour. I plan on making one or two loaves of bread this evening. Try to if we have power. Maybe I'll do it once I get them clean it up this morning. A case of waters, a uh, few packs of these vanilla sausages, kids some yogurt, cereal, some more yogurt, and little pack of macarons i'm missing some stuff hold on i'm missing some stuff off this grocery haul i don't know if you can see this i'm missing these strawberry fig newtons and these um swiss rolls i guess i'm about to start try to start a return Oh, uh, anyway, I'm gonna put this stuff away and finish my cleaning. Um, get ready for the storm. Yes, yes, that is candy canes you see on my moo moo and Christmas trees. <laughs> dress for the day and instead of making bread my husband asked for some more bagels so that's what I'm doing here I'm going to go ahead and start the bagel making process if y'all want a full detailed video on how I make my bagels comment down below let me know and I will do a full dedicated video just on bagels
so I made everything bagels, cheese bagels, and plain bagels. And since learning how to make bagels, y'all, I have not bought any store-bought bagels. These taste so much better than store-bought bagels. Same way, same way with my bread. Um, anyway, it is time to change out my air filter. I got this uh, filter sent from Walmart for fairly cheap. And it was, I think it was overdue for my air conditioner filter. Because look at that. It was bad. Um, so we do the cut to fi filters. Those are the ones that our AC guy, when he come out and service it, he said those were the best ones to use for our particular unit. So let me give it a wipe down and go ahead and replace that filter. <laughs> cabinet here um i had put tumblers up top of it but it also doubled as our medicine cabinet and it was starting to irritate me so i wanted to go ahead and clean it out organize it and i figured i'd just go ahead and put my cooking my cookbook right here um that way when i'm cooking they're right there i can reach for them get it down get my recipes out we were meant to be you were mine, I was yours Take me back once more Summer love, where did you go? Summer love, you have no idea what you did to me Summer love, didn't care that we weren't meant to be You were mine, I was yours Take me back once more Summer love, sweet joy ahead and move on to underneath my kitchen sink I have a ton of cleaning supplies underneath here that clearly I need to organize and go through and get rid of any of them that I don't use <music> Getting sprung. We used to dance the night away, hang out the whole next day, laughing, having fun. Summer love, you have no idea what you did to me. Summer love, didn't care that we weren't meant to be. You were mine, I was yours.
So, moving on to the dining room, I picked up a little cheap tablecloth to put on this table. Something light to break up all the brown colors that's going on in here and to just lighten up this space. So, I'm going to do that and then try to reorganize the centerpieces that I have on this table. I've told y'all before, I want to get a bigger vase with some fall foliage in it, but I haven't found anything I like. I'm so tempted to take the one off the hooch right here behind me, but uh, I'm not. Maybe whenever I do my Christmas decor, I'll keep in mind whenever I go shopping to get something tall and big to put on our dining room table as a centerpiece. So, Mama picked me up this little baking, it says right there, mini loaf pan um, from Big Lots. And I was lost as to what to do with it. Clearly, I'm not going to bake anything in it. So, I decided to put it here at my kitchen sink and just sit my dish sponge and my dish soap in it. So with that air conditioner filter I put in, there's no space to put the date like there is with the other filters. So that's what I'm going to do here. Just a little sticky note to remind me of when I... So y'all, I'm outside. I'm going to show y'all my little surprise that I got. So before my husband left to go on the road, he wanted to make sure me and the kids had a reliable way to travel. So he got me... A new, well not new, new to me, Suburban, and I freaking love her. We, we many, many kids have dubbed her the name Big Back Betsy, because she big, okay? Uh, it's a Suburban LTZ, and I freaking love her. I've already <sighs> decked her out. I gave her a matte black bow tie with the matte cheetah print on the back glass. First of all, she is nice, okay? Sunroof, which I love. My Nissan Altima had a sunroof, so had, I'm glad she had sunroof. Black leather interior, which I know my favorite color is black. Um, plenty of space for me and the kids. <laughs> so, this is actually, let me turn the air down, this is actually my dream truck. I've, I had a Suburban years ago, it was, that was, gosh, I think we traded in in 2017, we traded in for my husband's um, Ford because we were having some troubles with it. So we traded it in for his pickup truck. But I'm so glad to be back in a third row vehicle. So excited. Um, 
we went to the dealership to look y'all know how that is just to look and i was like i'm not getting my hopes up i see i had been looking at this because i knew we wanted to look at vehicles um and i put up the website for the dealership here in my hometown and this one caught my eye because hold my husband test driver and i'm still getting used to it we've had her for about going on three weeks now and i love it there's plenty of space for all my kids all their softball stuff in the back so i'm gonna give y'all a tour of big back betsy so this is just pretty basic it has like a heated steering wheel um the apple carplay um i think they have like a foam mount or something here i need to try to get all this off it's like sticky um apple carplay and then tons of storage in here and then back here has the dvd players back here in each one of the headrest so austin loves that and then these seats just they fold down and then they fold up again um plenty of storage space back there i love it y'all this is like the nicest thing i've ever had so and then i want to show y'all my tags but back here like she fancy she is so nice cake deliveries just got a whole lot easier because i have all this back here for deliveries and the kids softball equipment and this is just a view from the back like she is huge once again that is why we call her big back betsy um To put my other little decal on here, I made that. But this, this is not surprise y'all. I love how my cheetah come out on the back glass. I done matte, so it matches. that was the little surprise i guess you can say um still can't believe i have it and also i don't ever want y'all to think i'm coming off as bragging because if you know me then you know i'm not that kind of person um i'm just proud of how far we me and my husband has have come like our first house did not have a refrigerator um so we we've come a long way we've definitely had our share of struggles so i'm i'm just like extremely proud more so of him and how far he's cool um so yeah don't ever think i'm bragging because y'all i promise you i'm not i'm just happy and i want to share my happy moments with y'all but that's gonna be it for this evening's video i hope y'all enjoyed it um and yeah i will see y'all back here thursday night bye y'all